I went just skiing across the Pacific Ocean for two hours straight. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm a rough rider like that. You know, I'm a rough rider. But uh, I went there and, and, and did that for about two hours. And the whole time I, I, I just skied across the Pacific Ocean, I was thinking to myself, what the hell is beneath me? All right, I was thinking to myself, <laughs> like, there's so many animals below me. All yeah. right. And as I went down into the Chicago Shed Aquarium, I was able to see a lot of those animals that were, were, that were beneath me, and it made me think to myself, I would not like to be lost at sea, okay? When our ancestors <laughs> decided to jump into that ocean, I would have thought twice. I would have been the, I would have been the, <sighs> you so, really going to do this? Wait a minute. So let me ask you this. So when Kanye said that slavery was a choice, uh-huh. and what he was referring to was we didn't, we had the choice to not be slaves because we could have just like tried to kill ourselves, hop off the ship, whatever. Yeah. Are you hopping off that ship? Are you saying to be a slave? <laughs> <laughs> you are so funny, Juice. You know what, though? I would have stayed. I would have stayed. Because what is in that ocean, that's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. Okay? 60 seconds and I'm dead, basically. You know, at least I get on land, I can figure something out. I can make a plan. Okay? <laughs> I can create not some kind plan. of plan. <laughs> All right, they got me in chains. All right, look, like I will figure it out. And as we did, though, as we eventually did figure it out, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. I love, I love that though. But uh, with that being said, I mean, yeah, Juice, I had an incredible time. I would have definitely chosen to just be a slave. I would have jumped off that <laughs> ship. Like I, I can't get funny. off of that now. No, but like the <laughs> ocean is so big. It's big. Like, it's vast. It's scary. <laughs> it's scary. Okay. I saw this video on Facebook one time. And it showed just like the different <laughs> layers of the ocean and how each layer gets darker and darker Dog. and darker. And it's just like, fam, what are we really <laughs> surrounded by right now? That's what, I, that's what I'm saying, B. Because like, okay, like, because I, I think I know what you're talking about. Because I've seen one of those, especially, you know, last year uh, to, with the billionaires uh, who lost their lives oh, in the yeah. submarine ship. Mm-hmm. You know, and you were kind of just seeing how far the ocean goes and it's like oh this level octopus live this level yeah yeah live. yeah this level here goes whales and then after that it's just nothing you, <laughs> you might get to monsters. the titanic like <laughs> you don't know like they say they only really discovered five percent of the of the of the ocean no, they know sure. way more about outer space than they do know about the ocean it's very terrifying when you think about it. It's terrifying. The mermaids could be real and all the other good stuff. No, for but real. I, Titanic, I just, like, that was just crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <sighs> and, and that's what I'm saying. O- along my weekend's vacation, I was able to go down to the Shed Aquarium and see some of those animals. And I, I'm telling you, like, nah, the ocean's not for me, you know. Um, okay, last question. Okay, go ahead. How do you really feel about aquariums and zoos? Ooh, this is a tough one. <laughs> I, I, f- I figured you were going to hit on this. Like, If you didn't, somebody in True Vegas go call in. I be feeling a little iffy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, because okay. it feels like the animals do not want to be there. <laughs> they drug them animals up. That's that's the truth. That's the truth of the matter. They drug these animals up for our entertainment. Not they prostituted the animals. Basically, you know, they go out there and capture them. You know, bring them back in and... We we pay places like the Shed Aquarium. This is so you know bad. to house these animals. Is, is that is that inhumane? Like it honestly, is it inhumane? Like, it feels the, like it because they seem like they are not having a happy life. You know, like the environment that we put these animals in is so mm. small compared to you know what their real life would be like. You know, you know what's so profound about what you just said, Juice? What? Is that is a complete parallel to how impoverished communities are ran? You think so? I know so. Go go a little deeper. Well, expound upon that. How about we get to that on the other side? <laughs> <laughs>